All right, I'm going to go over uh, how to use GeoGebra or GeoGebra uh, to create histograms. Um, now, if you want to, you can take a look at the video I did uh, for histograms and frequency tables to know the ins and outs of histograms and why and how they should be created. Uh, so there is another video for that. This one is just simply how to create histograms using this program. Uh, so I'm going to click on GeoGebra Classic. I can't figure out how to do this on the uh, updated version. I'm sure there's a way. Um, so on the classic, uh, you get these screens here. Uh, I'm going to hide this. So all I have is a Cartesian plane, which I'm not going to use. Um, I am going to click on this little button here. And I'm going to open up a spreadsheet. And I'll put my spreadsheet over the Cartesian plane so it cleans that up as well. I have a set of data for standing long jump. I got 40 students, 40, set, 40 pieces of data on standing long jump. This is a very easy program. Uh, I know it looks intimidating, but it's an easy program. It does a lot for you. Uh, so I'm just going to put in all the 40 scores in one column. So in column A on my spreadsheet. So a student jumped 174 centimeters, a student jumped 110 centimeters, and so on. And I'm going to fill in all 40 of these down this column. Okay, uh, I'm going to move my, my head over here. Um, so now I've got all 40 scores here. I am going to highlight all 40. I don't know what happened there. Let's try that again. There you go all the way down. So I got all 40 scores highlighted. I'm going to press this graphing button, one variable analysis, and it created my histogram. So there I go. So there's my histogram, and I'll move that over so it's most of the page. And uh, I want my frequency table shown as well. So uh, this little options button here, and I click on frequency table and I have my frequency table along with my histogram. And again, to know what the what are all about the intervals and how to construct frequency tables, intervals, and histogram, to go to the other video. Uh, I'm just going to review how to create them using this program. So you can see uh, my intervals are messy and they include a bunch of decimals. I don't want any of that. And you can change that using this little button here. I could increase the number of bars in my histogram, uh, meaning more intervals, the interval size is less, and so on. But you can see every time I do that, I'm still getting decimals. So in my options, I'm just going to click on Set Classes Manually. And now, instead of that little scrolling bar, now I have uh, these options here. I can say where my histogram is going to start. Uh, since my lowest score is 98, I'm going to start at 80. And the width, you notice it just changed it to 80. The width, uh, I am going to change that to my interval size. So how large do I want my intervals? I want it to go by 20. And there you go. I have uh, one two, three, six, seven bars in my histogram, which fits the criteria of having kind of five to 10 bars, which gives you uh, a pretty good uh, histogram, a lot of information from that. But just to show you, if I, uh, you know, use the interval size of 10, well, now I'm getting more bars, I'm getting more specific data. Uh, but I don't want that many bars in my histogram. So I'll say 20. Okay. So now I've, I'm just going to close up this screen here. So now I've got uh, my frequency table, interval size of 20, and they're all even. Uh, and here's my histogram. Now the other neat feature of this program is it will calculate um, all of your central tendency scores for you. So I'm going to move my head down here. Come on. So if I hover over this button over here, it says show statistics. So I'll click on that and voila, now I got my mean score, my median score, 
uh, minimum and maximum, a couple other things that we don't need to go over. Um, I mean, you can go over some neat things like algebra. You can relate a lot of this to the nth term, but we're not going to go over that right now. But you do get your mean and median scores. Now you don't really have to calculate it. Well, you will have to in class, but in this case, uh, it gives it for you, which is kind of neat. Uh, if you want to see your data, you can click on the show data button again. Uh, if you want to create another uh, histogram underneath, you can do that as well. Uh, so this is basically it. And as you can see, you've got your histogram created, frequency table, and all your central tendency scores, your data, everything does it, the whole program does everything for you really quickly. There you have it.